is okay, incredibly real and extraordinarily, viscerally painful. There was no like checking out from it or ignoring it or getting away from it until it was over. And then the feeling of being on the other side and seeing myself in the bed and perceiving it as other and the way that everything was so good over there and is so just the radical nature of how okay you are, that was realer than realer than real. And, you know, again, that reminds me just how not real this place is when you're over there. When you're over there, you're like, oh, that's just a dream. No biggie. You really are laissez-faire about signing up for these hellacious missions. <laughs> you know, really. And then when you're done with it, you look back, you're like, no, I don't want to go back there. But you're not like, you don't feel what we feel over here. They're, they're different. They're distinctly different. And both are real, but that's more real than this place. Even though this place feels so intense. What do you want people to get out of your experience? Self-love. Vital. vital. You gotta, you gotta get, get there. there. Do, do it. You know, you know? Drop, drop the self-talk. Stop thinking, thinking that, that there's, there's any value in treating yourself any differently than you would want to treat others. others. So, so that's, that's huge. huge. We, we go, go on after, after we die. die. And, and then, then for, for those, those of you, especially who've had a negative experience, I know from the the struggle I felt of of trying to come to terms with why, because I don't. I don't, I don't feel, feel like, like I had done, done anything that would warrant that. that. I, don't, I, don't I don't know that, that I perfectly understand that. that. Maybe, Maybe it was to clear my family line. line. Maybe, Maybe it was to burn out that negative self-talk and, and, and make me love myself. myself. I, don't I don't know what purpose it served. It served. But, but I guess I, guess I would encourage people to just let that go. It doesn't have to mean that you were a bad person. It doesn't have to mean anything. It, it's, it's simply okay for your experience to be your experience. And, and if you feel shame about the fact that yours is weird or different or, or even awful, like mine, parts of mine were, were literally the most horrific thing I could imagine. But I'm coming forward to tell about it because I know I'm not a bad person. And I don't think that's how things are on the other side anyway. I think, I think that's, that's a lot, lot of hoo-ha. I'm not, I'm not saying, saying go out and be mean to people or selfish or, or anything like that. I'm saying that it's not as simple as that. It isn't. When I went over to the other side, more truly, and I don't even think I went all the way. I didn't see heaven. I didn't see a tunnel. Nobody was there telling me, you're bad and you're going to go to hell forever. <laughs> and so it might sound weird and contradictory, given that I was being tormented and that whole, whole thing, thing but what I come back with is that our experience is perfect for us. It's what, what we need. So if you're out there living with this and you are wondering why was my negative and what does it say about me, try to release that. Do you want people to contact you? You know, if they'd like to, people can send an email to dreamin no g lemur at gmail.com. Dreamin lemur. Keep it up. Thank you. You inspired me to tell what is true today for me because of the way that you tell other people's stories and help them to deliver that message. So I just want to say thank you. I greatly appreciate that and I love that you reached out to me and you didn't have like a book to sell because sometimes those kind of wear on my soul sometimes. There's a handful of you that have come and just be like, I just want to share my experience because it help people. And those are my favorite. People are all and authentic. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and it's funny because sometimes I wonder, I ask myself, well, gosh, am I, you know, is that what you're supposed to do? I don't know. I mean, I just went back to work in IT. And I mean, I went back to the same job, but I don't know. I hope I'm doing it right. You know, and you always want to make sure you don't have to relive certain harsh lessons, you know. He's Stupid motherfucker. Stupid fucker. Come on, you goddamn motherfucker.
Now fuck up and move this pawn right here so I can ear your rook. I'm fixing that ear, you're a rook. Spit, spit, spit. <laughs> I fucked his hole. Fucker. <laughs> 